I grew up scrappy. I grew up, you know, hungry. We grew up segregated. Somehow, some way, you've managed to get Ez and I to be quiet. <laughs> We're the Potash Twins. We travel the world doing what we do best. Playing chart-topping jazz. And obsessing over great food. And bringing our friends together <laughs> for both. <laughs> this is Beats and Bites. New York is an insane food town. We're eating at Tom Colicchio's Temple Court restaurant. Not only is the food insane, it's one of the most Instagrammable restaurants in New York City. What better people to be sharing dinner with right now than two masters of two different art forms? Tom Colicchio's food lives up to the legend. There's a reason why Tom Colicchio is the head judge on Top Chef. His food is impeccable. An Emmy and James Beard Award winning chef, Tom is also the founder of Crafted Hospitality. I promised myself if I found that, that other thing that I had a gift for, I'd practice. Yeah. And cooking was it. Wynton Marsalis is a legend. He's an internationally acclaimed jazz artist, a nine-time Grammy winner, a Presidential Medal of the Arts recipient, and even a Pulitzer Prize winner. Wynton's an important person to us and yeah. definitely inspired us. Music is such a passion of ours and, and so is food and bringing those two things together is an explosion of everything we love. So having mm -hmm. you both here is kind of surreal. This is a monkfish, and so those are uh, beets and grains. That's a, a braised shoulder of lamb uh, with beans and, and uh, mustard greens. Look at that. Hamachi, yeah, yeah. I take a bite of this hamachi and I'm freaking out. It, it's one of the greatest interpretations of a poke bowl ever. Very look good. At, look at that. How does your childhood and your upbringing for both of you affect who you are as people today? Well, my, we grew up segregated. My father was a jazz musician, as you know, he was a teacher. I always watched the integrity that he conducted himself with. But for me more, my mom was so absolutely for real as a person. In terms, she would go out in the street and fight dudes when she was in the projects. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in, in Elizabeth, New Jersey, blue collar town. My dad was a correction officer in a county jail. Uh, my mom managed a school cafeteria. I grew up scrappy, I grew up, you know, hungry. I grew up wanting to get out of my town. It was my dad who suggested that I become a chef. And looking at New York City, you always had this sort of that Frank Sinatra thing, you get one chance there and that's it. And for me, that was that rang true. And so I you know, hustled my ass off learning my craft in New Jersey before taking that shot in New York. It's not perfect the first time. No. And when you do your first performance, it's not perfect the first time no. either. But if I'm cooking at home, I just start cooking. And things will just happen. And it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, and before you know it, and you end up with something, you go, wow, this is really cool. But I never, I don't take notes. I don't write anything down. So it's like two weeks later, I'm like, what did I do? I don't remember. My mama, everything she made was original. Gumbo, etouffee, ribs. She knew how to put ribs in the oven and smoke them without, she, she just had a genius for all types of desserts. She didn't use recipes, she just kind of did it. She had recipes too, but she, you, you, you never caught her looking at them. Right, no, no, no. You know what I mean? No, no. Yeah. The diner doesn't care if you measure the stuff out. No, no, they, they don't just, at all, no. They but, care about the taste. The, right. But also he's talking about going by feel. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The key word for jazz musicians, you said improvisation. Yeah. Yeah. It's also funny because you're famous for Top Chef, which is making chefs improvise constantly for yes. months. But now the art form is putting them into a restaurant with a bunch of cooks in there and producing that dish over and over again, make yeah. it consistent and make it come out in time, make them all come out together. Improvisation part makes you come up with all your fantastic. The swing part is the part that makes you say, can I do this consistently? This is for people. The lead trumpet player is like the expediter in the kitchen. You tell him exactly what you want and he makes everything consistent. Like, and he's got to be consistent. With phrasing and articulation. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and if he doesn't execute that every night, then your vision's gone and your vision's sure. gone. What brings you the most joy now and what brings you the most joy now? I just look at what the chef laid out here, all the colors and the beauty of it. And uh, the time that he took to do it and develop his craft and sitting here with y'all. For me, the whole uh, experience is, is, is rich, and I try to experience that in, in, in my life in general, and, in, and to observe it. Not, not to get so far ahead of yourself that you don't look at those small moments and enjoy them. Right. And I mean, for me, right now, I have you know two young children and an older and old son trying to, quite frankly, be a better father to the 24-year-old because Wait. I was really busy. No, and I was really Wait, busy. Literally our age. Yeah. Right, but don't I was really yourself. really busy when 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 he was growing up, and I'm spending more time with little little guys now, and just trying to figure that out because that's something that. You don't get back. I can get a dish back if I screw it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Children, I can't get that back. 
Now I'm getting all, all oh, choked up. Hey, um, what, just for the wrong getting full? Yeah, just. <laughs> but don't blame yourself for that 20 something year old. All of us no, no, I don't, I'm not, no, 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 no. He's, oh no, he's, good, yeah. he's a great, great kid, but just, just yeah. trying to understand like what kind of relationship should I have with him? Can I have with him? Somehow, some way, you've managed to get Ez and I to be quiet. So I feel like, are, are you proud of us that we're expressing listening for the first time in our life? <laughs> I have so much respect for you when I have so much respect for you, and I can't believe this is happening. How, how did you guys meet? Oh, how did we meet? Uh, in the <laughs> world. We, met on we the were roommates. No, 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 no. Yeah. no, so uh, we're from Nebraska. Winton was playing, headlining a big show in town, and uh, we snuck into the green room, and then he said, you, Would you guys play? And he said, Yeah, I, of course, I play, play trumpet. I play he said, trumpet. I can always tell the trumpet players. <laughs> and, he <laughs> said, and he said, Go grab your horn. I looked at my dad, he sprinted to the car. So, uh, so the brass was in the car. The brass, oh, oh, yeah. we came, no, we came prepared. They were armed. And, yeah. um... <laughs> Over my time out here, the greatest joy for me has been all the many young musicians that I've had the chance to hear in all of the cities around the country for the last 38 yeah. years. <laughs> and uh, I love them. But the ones that make it so far are the ones that can take feedback and are humble. And you taught us that the first time we met you. Really? You said, yeah, you said we were glib. Which I'm like, yeah, yeah this is probably true. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty humble. Uh, but I love Joe, I love, you know, y'all just you know, full of energy. And they could play. They could play. I always wanted to be a musician. I play guitar. I usually play at home. I joke. I joke around. Exactly. That? I would laugh too. I like that. You should. You should laugh. No, but I. I because I, 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 I of pinch, I like it. Yeah. But I, I finger pick and I play, and I, I wish when I had my ten-year-old self stuck with it. But you know, for me, I always try to give my younger people love. And you basically gave them over an hour of your time. You blew off a, a meet and something. greet with the donors and you wanted to spend that time with us. I don't know why. You know, when I see them now, I'm just proud. You know what I mean? I'm so, I'm so proud of them. They sit up there with us. It kind of like taught us that like people like you guys are accessible to us. And coming from Nebraska, that's not a thing you get every day. And it totally changed the course of our life. Like, and that was, you were so honor. encouraging. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm breaking down right no, now. No, we did. <laughs> I don't know. Like, kind of hold yourself. I'm sorry. I'm crying. <laughs> right now. It's a bad look on TV. Yeah, but. No, man, it's not bad. It ain't nothing wrong with getting full. That's what he was saying in the church. Ain't nothing wrong with getting full, baby. I mean, sometimes people get full. They start to recount something. Instead of you losing your emotion and feeling like it's a bad thing, sometimes it's good to just sit in an emotion, get full. Well, emotion is what drives you to do music and to do food, like. <laughs> no. Be honest. It's food that makes you cry? No. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> onions. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Thank you both. Yeah, that was the, probably the best dinner I've ever had in my life. So. Yeah. Thank so. you. Thank this you is, for the this meal. Is, this is awesome. Thanks. Thank yeah. you for the meal, Chef.